hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is timmy so in this class we are going to be learning how to make this dress now depending on the length you desire you can work with three you can work with four yards you can even work with two yards so it just depends on your desired length that is what we determine the amount of fabric you work with so in this class i'm going to explain how you can cut it using this brown paper so we take this part i'm holding on to now as the yardage part of the fabric now which we are going to go ahead and fold it into two so we are taking this brown paper now as two yards so which means we have 36 inches at the front and at the back piece now we want to go ahead the cb the crease line actually is the length that the fabric comes with so it can be 45 up to 60 depending on the type of fabric you work with so you want to go ahead and place the fabric again into two so have your cf and your cb so and once you do that you want to go ahead and start placing your uh, measurement on it so now the measurement you are going to first work with is the back measurement which you divide it by two don't add half just measure it direct then you come down by one then you go ahead and mark the neck point, then you connect it. So now you need to mark the half length point and the waist point too. Just go ahead and mark it. So in this case, we don't use the actual armpit measurement because it depends on how much opening you want at the side. So just go ahead and mark those points. So once you do that, the widest of all your measurement, the waist, the bust, I mean the waist, the bust, and the hip is what we are going to use now, not all the measurement. Whichever one is divided, divided, divide it rather by four and add your seam allowance. Your seam allowance can be one and a half to two inches, depending on how much is you want, then you mark them all the way. So once you do so, connect it. Now, I've brought the armpit line down, so I'm going to connect it also. Then this is just a guideline. Now, depending on where you want the shape to start from, you can just start it from the hip line. You can as well, if it is um, a long one, you can as well uh, measure 10 inches from the M. Then you go ahead and shape it like so. So you can see that it's looking like it. Now, once you do that, now the next thing is going to be for us to shape the neckline. So you can use 4x4 four four for the front, depending on the type of neckline you want so if you want a um circle or a round neckline you can use four by four for the front so now for the back you also use one by four and you mark it like so then we cut it out cut the back out first then we call the side to the side shaping so once you are done you want to go ahead and open it up now so that we can cut the front neck out now so you just place it on fold easy then you cut look at it just the front don't touch the back then we open it up so now if you want a slit at the back you, i mean at the front you can go ahead and cut it then this is what you should have. 